I am Lori Weitzner. I came up with these 10 color worlds. Each have their own place in our lives. You can use them to create the moods and energies that you might want or need in a space. I want to take you through that. Here we go. Waterside is a world of all the different blues. The light, the dark, the dramatic, the powerful. They all can make us feel very grounded. They're very steady. They're like your best friend. I always joke around that if a person were waterside, they would be the one who would help you early to set up for a party and stay late to help you clean up. They're reliable, they're dependable, they're intelligent. These are colors we want around us to feel comfortable. Sea foam, sapphire, ink, teal, iceberg, aqua, robin's egg, lagoon, cobalt, prussian. Silverlight are all the cool metals. This is the color world of innovation. This is the color world where people think of things that others have never thought of before. It's about vision. It's about experimentation. It's not an easy color world for me to use in my interiors. And yes, I feel like I'm an innovative person. So how an interior designer would use silver light is really interesting. Steel, armor, mercury, nickel, sterling, mica, chrome, titanium, platinum. Garden party is actually a delightful color world. It's those pastel colors, but for me, they're not too sweet. I always talk about the way Fred Astaire dances and that the way he dances is very garden party. It's about play. It's about magic, pure joy, celebrating spring, those fresh spring greens, those flowers before the colors get too saturated. This is garden party, my garden party. Pink, peach, wisteria, magnolia, lichen, Lemongrass, lavender, buttercup, coral, powder blue, celadon. Night shadows is a very, very serious world. It's the kind of space where you want to speak with someone about a secret over a glass of red wine or even maybe a glass of whiskey, who knows? And it's about seduction, but it's also mystery. So it's a color world I want to be in when I'm trying to figure out what my next steps are. There's this saying about being in the dark and then you see the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. That's what Night Shadows is about. Stone, smoke, cacao, slate, gunmetal, charcoal, merlot, shale, espresso, fog, mahogany, ebony. Whisper. I remember there was an ad a long time ago, if you want to capture someone's attention, whisper. There's something very powerful about things that are quiet. And whisper is all about the whites and the off-whites. Those are the colors of whisper. And whisper is about going inward. It's about your finding your intuition, your inner peace, your calm. It's a very centered color world. But take care, it's ethereal. It's not grounding. Dove. Blush, nude, ash, opaline, pearl, alabaster, bisque, oyster, bone, ivory, nacre, porcelain. Earthly is the color world of passion. It is a very, very provocative world. I have to say that the first time I went to India was the first time I really experienced earthly colors. And how you use these in a space can be important because too much of it can be overwhelming. But if you get it right, it will inspire you to follow your dreams. It's about going through your life and instead of just smiling, deciding to sink. Terracotta, auburn, clay, brick, okra, cochineal, caramel, rust, chutney, cinnamon. At ease. It's all the neutrals. It's the warm khakis and the linen and the warmer grays. They're comfortable. I think about napping, puppy dogs. What's interesting is these are the colors that always are the best sellers on my fabrics and my wall coverings. And not just in America, but across the world. And I think the reason is because it can be a main story, but it can also be a great backdrop to whatever other colors you may need or want. Sand, beige, Raffia, walnut, acorn, 
oatmeal, mocha, taupe, écru, café au lait, khaki, straw. This color world is called Out Loud. It is all the highest saturated colors. It's those POW colors. They're all about energy and going bold and taking risk. You want to wear that Out Loud color to a meeting when you really want to make an impact. It is a color world that you have to be careful with, and yet if you use it in the right way, your life can explode. Fuchsia, orange, crimson, poppy, ultramarine, violet, cyan, tangerine, kelly green, chartreuse. Alchemy is the world of all warm metals. They are majestic, they are imperial, they make you feel very special. This color world is about enlightenment and inspiration. And what's really interesting is in my color test that people have taken, alchemy is the most popular result. And what that tells me is that people are needing to be more creative than they are actually being. There are many ways to use it, in big splashy ways and in very small delicate ways. Citrine, rose gold, honey, sun glow, cognac, gold, bullion, topaz, brass, amber, bronze, copper, champagne. Fragrant Woods is my favorite color world. It's about rooting in nature. It's about connecting, nurturing what we give as opposed to what we receive. It's those woods, moss, greens, the sound of the soil as you're hiking. Scent is part of this color world. We feel connected and connection is what we need probably now more than ever. Pine, truffle, umber, bottle green, moss, hunter, sepia, saddle, sorrel, fern. Thank you so much for tuning in to my Ode to Color shorts and may your world be filled with color always.